Hey guys, I'm Megan Ware, registered dietitian and owner of Nutrition Awareness. As your official dietitian for Spuddle.com, I'm going to be bringing you several videos a month on nutrition topics that all athletes want to know about. I know there's already tons of nutrition information out there. Everyone from your friend telling you a certain way that he eats, to your mom telling you about a supplement she's learned about, to the news networks, fitness gurus, and biased nutrition non-professionals spouting out information everywhere you turn. I'm here to take out all the guesswork for you and give you a no BS approach to fueling your body in the right way to making you perform at your peak level and feel your best. Today we're going to talk about what foods you can eat to help relieve muscle soreness after a hard workout or practice and what foods will help your muscles recover more quickly. That period of time right after a workout or practice is the most important. You have a short 30 to 45 minute window available to get those right nutrients into your body to help those muscles recover quickly. So you've all heard that protein is important for muscle recovery, but did you know that carbohydrates also help to refuel your energy stores and produce a hormone called insulin that helps your body to build muscle? Now the important thing is you get in the right kind of carbohydrates. Not the kind of simple, car simple carbohydrates from things like donuts and cookies, but the complex carbohydrates in foods like dairy, whole grains, and fruits. Foods like old-fashioned oats and quinoa are two high-fiber, high-protein carbohydrates that would be great to incorporate in a post-workout snack or meal. You probably already know that antioxidants are great for preventing cancer, heart disease, and other diseases. But did you know that they also help reduce inflammation and alleviate muscle soreness? Your best sources of antioxidants are always going to be fruits and vegetables. The more color you can get on your plate, the better, and the better for your muscles. So if you hear that and you think, great, I'll just go get a squirt drink with antioxidants in it, pop a multivitamin, and I'm good to go. Think again. Scientifically, we don't know the half of the components that make up a whole food, like a banana or an apple, that makes them good for us. We can isolate the antioxidants and the vitamins that we know about, put those in a pill, and take them, but we're not going to get the same benefits we would as if we ate them from the whole food. We don't know about all the parts that are interacting together within that food and make it work for our body the way that it does. This is why you can't eat like crap all day and then pop a multivitamin and have everything be okay, because our body absorbs nutrients differently from foods than they do from pills. I would always say go with the whole food over any kind of supplement or sports drink to get your vitamins. That being said, you can get a great recovery meal or snack from a smoothie or a shake made at home if you start with real whole foods. If you don't really have an appetite after practice or after a workout, a liquid meal or a shake can be a great way to get those nutrients in. But beware of shakes or smoothies made from made at chains or fast food restaurants because they can contain upwards of 60 grams of sugar or more, which is way more than you even need in an entire day. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite shakes to relieve muscle soreness. One drink that's been shown to be especially good at reducing inflammation after strenuous exercise is tart cherry juice. Now studies involving watermelon and watermelon juice have shown similar results. Try blending some tart cherry juice or seedless watermelon into a smoothie after a workout for an anti-inflammatory boost. Today I'm going to share with you one of my favorite smoothies for reducing inflammation using tart cherry juice. It's a cherry almond smoothie. So I'm going to start out with some non-fat Greek yogurt, plain Greek yogurt. I'm going to do one third cup. Put that in the blender, and I'm using non-fat plain here because there's no sweeteners added, no corn syrup, no artificial colors, no artificial flavoring. I'm going to use one half cup of frozen berries, whatever kind of berries you like. Um, mine has some cherries in with it, so even more of a cherry boost. I'm going to add one half cup of unsweetened almond milk. Gives that that nice almond flavor. I'm going to add one half cup of tart cherry juice, and this is straight up cherries and water, no added sugars, no added colors, no added flavorings. That's what we want. Clean eating. I'm going to add half of a banana. Gives it a little bit of a sweet flavor. We don't want it to be too tart. I'm 
And then I'm also going to add half a teaspoon of vanilla. And also a teaspoon of honey. You can add a little bit more if you have a bit of a sweet tooth. And I'm using all natural raw organic honey. And then I'm also going to use add a couple ice cubes. About three or four ice cubes. Stick that in there. Put the lid on and just blend and enjoy. And that is a great after workout snack or a great after workout drink to have to help alleviate muscle soreness. If you have any questions about foods to relieve muscle soreness or you have an idea for a future topic, please leave me a comment below. If you need more personalized nutrition information, please visit my website at www.meganwarerd.com or shoot me an email at nutritionawareness at meganwarerd.com. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon.